What is up YouTube? Brad here back from Brad's Grove Outdoors. Today we are going looking for my 110th life species bird, the evening grosbeak. They're normally not seen down here in Michigan, but this year's interruption year up in the Boreal Forest. So we're getting big flocks of them down here. And there's one only half an hour away from my house. So we're going to hop in the car and get driving over there and hopefully we can see it. Okay guys, so since I didn't get as much video as I wanted due to some camera problems and stuff, I'm just going to show you guys a quick rundown of the difference between the evening gross beaks and the American golden finch. As you can see first, the size difference is huge. The evening gross beak is on the left and the golden finch is on the right. Um, the colors in it, the evening gross beak has a lot more yellow and it's a lot brighter yellow. Whereas a female golden finch as is seen in this picture is a little more drab, a little more brown. Uh, another big difference is in the evening gross beak, they do have like the yellow kind of unibrow looking thing and the evening gross beak doesn't and the wings, uh, the, er, yeah, in the wings, the American golden finch has wing bars that are on the wings and the gross beak does not. The gross beak has white and yellow on the wings, but basically those are the big differences and after this, you guys are going to see the birds that I saw, so hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so we just got back from the spot. We had to wait a few minutes to see it, maybe like, what would you say? Five to 10 minutes? Yeah, we had to wait like five, 10 minutes to see it, and then two other people showed up and they spotted the birds in the tree that was a little further back. And finally they came in and worked on the feeder. It was like a box feeder hanging from the guy's window. So we got that. It's very exciting. My 110th life bird and my 60th for Macomb County, which that's exciting. Um, I have video of the bird, so obviously that'll be back in there and you'll see it. But again, great find in Michigan at some guy's house. Very rare. It's an eruption year. So it caused a lot of the finches to come down. And honestly, I couldn't be any happier of what we did. Any final words? No, I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm Brad from Bradshaw Outdoors. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And more videos are coming now that it's duck season. You know, during fishing season, it's just... Yeah, I just didn't want to record fishing this year because I really don't catch that much if I'm not going from the boat. And with baseball and everything, I don't have time to go from the boat. So more videos will be coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time on Brad's Great Outdoors.